Hi, today I want to talk about the kit feature for inventory and sales order processing. I'm in the inventory module now and under cards I'm going to create a brand new item and I'm going to make this item a kit so I'll call it a phone and we'll give it a bigger description we'll just say phone kit and I'll do a lookup and I'll add it to my uh, class for retail and roll those changes down. And the difference here is under item type I'm going to select kit. So let's talk about what a kit is. A kit is when not actually a physical inventory item that you stock an in inventory but instead it's when you sell a group of items as a single item. I like to tell my customers if you think of going to a fast food chain and ordering a hamburger. When you do that you don't tell them I want ketchup, I want mustard, I want pickles. They have those on there. You only tell them the exceptions. I don't want mayonnaise. So then you'll get a receipt that says one hamburger, no mayonnaise. Now what you're taking out of their inventory is not a hamburger. What you're taking out of inventory is a pat hamburger patty, a bun, so many ounces of ketchup, so many ounces of mustard, two pickle slices, and all those components. And if you take all those individual pieces that you're selling and you group them together, you could sell them as one item. When you get your receipt at the fast food place, you do not want it to list everything that makes it up individually. You do not want to see... Um, hamburger patty, hamburger bun, two pickles, an ounce of ketchup, an ounce of mustard, whatever the case may be, or even including in that, you know, two minutes of labor. You don't want to see all those things. You just want to see the hamburger in the exception. And that's what KITS does, is it enables us to take a combination of our items and group them together and sell them as one item. And everything about the kit sets up pretty much exactly the same way that you're used to seeing. We can have our item currency if you have multi-currency. So I'm going to go ahead and select US dollars here. And we'll sell this phone list price of $600 when somebody gets the kit. And then we'll come in and uh, we'll set up our site. So I'm going to come in and choose the site and I'm going to put it in the warehouse. Great. Save that. And now I'll go ahead and set up the price list and we'll put in for the um, price level of retail and we'll set up a retail price of, for each and the retail price um, 15% oh, let's do better now 150% or 50% markup okay so the only thing that's different here is that we're going to use this additional field here on the go to button called kits and this is where we tell it which parts of our inventory make up this one item so if I do a look up here I'm gonna grab this first phone and I'm gonna say this particular item we're going to add one of those and you can see it there the green phone one of those and now let's look for an answering machine so let's see if I can find an answering machine oh we'll just make a cord we'll add a 12 foot white cord to it yeah that works just as well I'll set the unit of measure to ease each and I'll add one of those as well and now this makes up my kit and you could see that I've got these two inventory items and I can see the actual cost of these two items and let's throw in some labor too we'll throw in one hour of labor so now I have all of my cost of all of my individual components to create this item. So now I have this question, do I want to use the cost of goods sold from my individual components, so it'll detail and break out the cost of goods for each of those, 
or do I want to use it from the kit item? Now, I'm going to go ahead and leave it by component item, but I'll show you where the kit item would be. Under accounts, we set up all the accounts for selling this kit, and here is the cost of goods for the kit item. So if I chose for the kit item, it would just use this as the cost of goods sold. So now that I have that item all ready to sell, let's go into sales order processing. Now there's not keeping, uh, you don't keep the kits in stock because you only assemble them if you sell them. So let's go through and create an invoice. And I'll pull up our good friend, Aaron Fitz Electrical. Make our default site warehouse. And I am now going to look for the item called phone. And I'll add my unit of measure in. I want to sell it by the each's. And I only want one. Now, what's going to happen is, because this is an invoice, and the same thing would happen if it was an order or a quote or whatever, I could see all the components that make up this one item. So if for some reason I want to change one of them out, and in this case, perhaps I do because I can see I've got, I've got an issue with this particular item. And if I go in and look, I can see um, I don't have enough, right? I can see there's one, but I have zero available. So I can then come in and add the 25-foot black cord. And I'll add one of those. And then here, I'll just remove this item, just delete the row. So that takes care of one of my problems. Now this particular problem, this is labor. So I'm just missing a side ID here. So let's put in warehouse is the side ID. It's not assigned, we'll assign it now. And close that out. So now we have taken care of all of our issues dealing with this particular order, including exchanging one of them out. And you can see we have enough, uh, we can see the individual quantities of all the components we have. So we have 25 of these, labor we don't keep in inventory, and 99 of these. So we know we can make a full set of 25 with these. We'll click OK. And that's what it takes to selling the items. And that's all it takes to work with kits. Hope this helps. Thanks.